Good morning, Taurus. Welcome to the Manjula Awakening. My name is Kiana, and today we are going to do a you versus them. I'm going to take a look at your love life and uh, pull your energy as well as pull the person that is the strongest on your mind's energy. Guys, these are general messages, so please allow your intuition and your discernment to lead you to the pieces that resonate for you and leave the rest in the past for someone else, Taurus. So right now I am currently pulling on the connection and uh, the oracle that we got was stability. So let's see what's going on with this connection that does seem to be able to stand the test of time. Let's see what's going on. Spirit, what is the situation with this connection? What's going on inside of this connection? So we have Taurus. <laughs> we have the Hierophant card. Alrighty. A lot of stability right here so far. Uh, we have the Three of Cups and the High Priestess. Alright, Taurus. So I feel like that there is this um this energy of wanting to come together with someone. I do feel a very spiritual connection. Uh there may be small communication going on right now, but for some reason I'm feeling like Taurus hasn't actually, like this is a connection that's trying to come together. Uh, let's see. I want to speculate too much. Let's go ahead and get into Taurus's energy, but the situation at hand is a commitment. Uh, there is a need to go ahead and celebrate something. And to really make sure that you're listening to your intuition. Uh, we've got support here at the bottom of the deck. So you may need to lean on your uh, support system right now. In order if you're confused or... I don't know. Let's see, Taurus. Let's just, without speculating, let's get in. How is Taurus currently showing up in this connection spirit? The Knight of Cups. <laughs> Taurus is in love, yo. Okay. You're thinking about making an offer, going after your true heart's desires. Okay. How does Taurus feel about this connection? The Six of Wands. And the Page of Cups. Taurus, I feel like that you're the one that's going to be making an offer to someone. Or like, what's your thoughts? Uh, you you are going to be overcoming some fears and some anxieties. You do think it's like you don't know how this person is going to perceive your offer. You don't know if this person is going to take your cup. But let's see. What is the advice for Taurus as it pertains to this connection? Whew. Ten of Swords is your advice. For what actions to take as it pertains to this connection. And then we have the two of cups right here. Okay, so immediately, uh, if, yeah, if, uh, let me, hold on, let me grab myself. This ten of swords kind of took me off by surprise if I, there's an, there's an ending somewhere that you must accept first. But this is a connection worth having that whichever, like if you're still lingering and holding on to a connection from the past, I pray that that is not the connection that is the strongest on your mind. I would love to pull whatever this energy is. Um, but if there's any type of connection on your mind from the past or past betrayals, accept them and set them down. Uh, don't drag them into this connection that it seems to be fresher okay so let's see spirit can you please show me the energy of this connection for taurus show me the person that taurus is currently connecting with or thinking about connecting with Can you please show me how this person is currently showing up for tours? How is this person currently showing up for tours? The two of wands. They're making plans for the future. They're looking. Yes, they're making. 
Look at here, Page of Swords. I mean, Page of Pentacles, Page of Swords. This person is um, definitely doing, like this person is looking towards the future with a brighter uh, outlook on things. Definitely wanting new. This person is definitely wanting new. How is this person feeling? What is this person's feelings and emotions towards Taurus in this connection? Thank you. Okay, Taurus. Give me just a second. My little man is here. All right, Taurus. So we have the Ace of Cups. So this person is open to receiving an offer. I do feel like that there is some strategy behind um, this offer. Uh, or like, I think this person is taking caution uh, where the, the where the emotions are at. I do feel like they're open to it. I just feel like that they're very um, stra strategic in the way that they are viewing incoming offers. Let's see. What is the thought space on this person's? What is the thoughts? Uh, this person has as it pertains to Taurus in this connection spirit. The Eight of Pentacles. They um they feel like that they can work with you. Absolutely. Their thought space is, is this is something that... Huh? Sorry about that, Taurus. Uh, well, not really. Mommy duty called. It called. But anyways, um, so I feel like this person, their thoughts is that this is going to take work you know this is going to take some time and effort to put in it but i do feel like that this person feels as if it is worth putting it in it's worth the collaboration um this person I'm, i must admit i do feel like that both of you guys are leaving uh like i think that both of you guys are like, i feel like this is a fresher connection and that both of you guys this person this person, I do feel like they have become very clear on, um, like they have gained clarity on a past heartache. And um, yeah, most definitely gained clarity on a past heartache. And because of that, they now have a logical understanding as to what a connection should look like. Yeah. Alrighty. So what actions will this person be taking as it pertains to Taurus? Thank you, Spirit. Look, you flipping here. Knight of Cups, Knight of Cups. And I like it because this Knight of Cups for you, Taurus, is going towards this person. And this Knight of Cups for this person, even though it's coming straight, like, so this is a present offer, they are looking at you. They're looking in your direction. So this is an offer that is present in the present moment coming in. I like this, Taurus. It seems like you, uh, they are worried. I, I, I must admit, with them having the Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck, um, and then you have in the Ten of Swords here. The advice for the Ten of Swords really is accept everything of the past. Like accept it for what it is. And uh, and also accept that the worst is over. So the, the worst is in the past for you, Taurus. This person does have some anxiety. I feel like, uh, yeah, that you may not completely be over the past. So there's something past related here, Taurus. You have to allow your intuition to guide you uh, for what that is. But uh, the outcome of this is a uh, the high priestess. And I do feel like that that is, I like to see the Taurus and the high priestess. That's a very compatible, stable couple, um, very spiritual couple as well. And with the three of cups being what's in the middle of the hierophant, the high priestess, Excuse my children, they're in the background playing. It's early morning. Um, but the three of cups here is splitting it up. It, this is something that is trying to come together in celebration and in union. Um, but I do want to just, if I could just throw a little advice, make sure that you're listening to your intuition and not your ego when it comes to this connection. Yeah. 
this might be someone from your past. Um, and if it is someone from your past, I don't feel like that it's someone that was necessarily. Um, let's see. Let's not speculate. Let's see. Is this a past person spirit for Taurus? That's a whole lot. I don't think it is. No, I don't think it is a past person. Um, I do. I do, however, feel like that it is someone that is well aware that um, you're, I'm going to say it, newly single. I don't feel like you've been single long. Or this per I, I I don't know I don't feel like it's this person I feel like this person is willingly looking towards new options. Uh, but yeah, I do feel like that this person uh is aware that you have just cut loose from a connection or that you're newly um independent from a connection they may wonder if you're over it yet or this you have to flip this however it resonates for you and so they're going to be taking their time that's what i got from that this is going to be a whole lot of passion but all right taurus let's get a hidden message and then Hit a message. I just heard no. Let's get a moonology for you. What is the moonology message for this connection for Taurus Spirit? Bring love into the situation. A new start is coming. So yeah, I do feel like that like like as far as like I said, I do feel like you know this person. I just I'm just not sure that it ever made it to um, romance. I feel like that this is ro one, two, three, four was on the clock. I feel like that romance is, um, f I think that love is a new aspect to this connection. I don't feel like that love has been, a I feel like this may be friends coming together, realizing that there's more to them than just friends or something along that lines. But I don't feel like that this is a connection from your past but your intuition will let you know who this is for you uh, the signs that i have on the table is cancer pisces and taurus those are the major arcanas Alrighty, guys i pray that these messages provided you with some guidance on your journey if these messages did resonate for you we would absolutely appreciate a thumbs up down below help get these messages out to other people in need and in all that we say and in all that we do moving forward, Taurus, let's choose peace. Love and light, guys.